Yeah, generative AI is the thing that we're talking about right now with chat GPT-3 writing your uh, your video pieces. Um, but that's really kind of the culmination of where we're headed right now, really about you know being able to actually create new experiences, having systems be able to create code on their own, be able to kind of learn from the code, and also learn from humans. And the important thing that's actually happening with AI is we're basically coming to four areas, of four questions everyone's going to be asking. When we're going to get full intelligent automation and AI, when we're going to augment the machine with the human, and that's where we figure out why did you make an exception? Why are there actually, you know, you didn't break, you broke the rules? Why are you not following protocols? We're also getting to the point where when are you going to augment the human uh, with the machine? And that's when we actually improve decision velocity. We give you information, insights so you can act more carefully. And then, of course, when do we actually choose human interaction? When do we insert friction into the process? A human touch, a personalized capability. And that's where AI is headed. And generative AI is actually an output of that. Where we're actually going to see, you know, people learn from it, people are going to train these systems, these systems are going to get smarter over time. And the idea is for us to be able to get to a point where we're comfortable with that level of automation and that level of precision. So, Ray, we will always require human interaction with AI, no matter how advanced it gets, right? Um, yes and no. Yes, because when you involve a human, that's going to happen. But there will be a point where my chatbot talks to your chatbot or my AI talks to your AI and they agree on something, right? That could happen already. We see that with trades and markets, you know, people's bots connect with bots in that kind of area. But you're also going to see that in other areas. Maybe your home automation system connects with a security system when something is breached. Like those things will start to happen over time. So there's human to human interaction, human to machine interaction, and machine to machine interaction. Action, they're all going to happen at the same time.